Since 1997, Spring 8, a large synchrotron radiation facility, has been utilized in various fields such as structural analysis, functional analysis, and imaging. The three-dimensional structure of proteins can be determined at Spring 8 by using the protein crystallography technique, which is the best established method for the structural study of proteins. In this method, the protein structure is determined from the intensity distribution of a scattered X-ray as a result of the exposure of a protein crystal with the X-ray. The X-rays scattered by protein crystals are recorded as diffraction spots on the detector, owing to the interference effect. The three-dimensional structure of protein molecules can be determined by accurately measuring and analyzing the intensity of the spots. In protein crystallography, the structure of proteins is determined by three main steps. Preparation of crystals, diffraction experiment, and structural analysis. Step 1. The preparation of crystals. Firstly, bacteria or other types of host cells that are genetically modified to produce the target proteins are inoculated in a suitable medium. Next, the target protein extracted from the bacteria or cultured cells is purified by column chromatography. After purification, a precipitant is added to the protein solution to crystallize the protein. Because the crystallization conditions vary depending on the type of protein, a number of trials are needed to find suitable conditions. Currently, robots are being used to crystallize proteins. The use of crystallization robots enables a larger number of trials under various conditions with smaller amounts of proteins and increases the chance of finding suitable crystallization conditions. Then, protein crystals are visually inspected under a stereo microscope. These are examples of well-shaped protein crystals grown in suitable conditions. After crystallization, preparation for a diffraction experiment is necessary. Firstly, a crystal is scooped with a resin loop. Next, the crystal is frozen in liquid nitrogen and packed into a cassette for the automatic sample changer. Step 2. The Diffraction Experiment The sample is brought to Spring 8. This is BL38B1, one of the beam lines for protein crystallography. At this beam line, data can be efficiently collected by changing samples using an automatic sample changer. The cassette containing the protein crystal is placed in the automatic sample changer. The experimental hatch is closed before the experiment begins. The diffraction experiment is controlled using the computer located outside the experimental hatch. Inside the hatch, the sample changer automatically mounts the sample on the experimental apparatus. While observing the microscopic image of the protein crystal, the position of the crystal is aligned so that it is placed on the X-ray beam path. After aligning the crystal position, the measurement parameters are input into the control software, and then the measurement can start. Inside the hatch, the crystal is exposed to the X-rays in accordance with the input measurement parameters.
After the exposure, diffraction images are obtained. Step 3. The Structural Analysis The diffraction intensity is measured by designated software. A series of computational calculations using the diffraction intensity leads to the electron density of a protein. The software automatically assigns amino acid models to regions that show clear electron density. The rest of the model can be manually completed. The observation of protein structures leads to deep understanding of life phenomena at the atomic level. These results are also applied to the development of new drugs for cancer, infection, and diabetes, etc.